Hi, I'm going to show you how to calculate month to date, quarter to date, and year to date using functions in Power BI. There are just a few steps we need to take. So I am using a very simple data set that has the uh, uh, sessions um, of a website over time. So in order, of order for us to get a month to date and quarter to date, we need, we need to use uh, time intelligence functions in Power BI. Time intelligence functions require a continuous calendar. So you can sometimes do this with your initial data set, but it's very hard because if you have, have holes, also you can't project forward. So let's quickly create a calendar table. Very simple in Power BI. Let's go over to the modeling tab. Let's go to new table and let's use the calendar function and let's put a start date so I'm going to use the calendar function then I'm going to use date so I can write in the dates for my start date for the year let's do 2016 one and one for the day now it's going to ask us for our end date we're going to do the same steps we're going to use date and then we're going to use the year which is 2020 now and I'm going to go all the way into the end of the year to the 31st and let's call that table date now I have a date table and we can see that in our modeling tab and I can now connect these two just by moving that over and we don't want a one-to-one -one relationship. We want to filter this, this fact table with our date table. So I'm going to go over in our date table relationships by just clicking the, the, the line that connects the two. And we can see the relationship here, the cardinality is one-to-one. -one. I want to change that to one-to-many so I can filter using the date table. Now we have everything set up to use our functions. So we are first going to use the calculate function. And I've made a very quick calculation for sum here in which I just sum the sessions. It just makes your DAX easier to read. I'm going to create a new measure by going up to new measure or right clicking. And I'm going to use calculate, which allows us to change the, the initial context of the function of the data that we're looking at. So use calculate. I want to calculate what total sessions. And then let's start with month to date. And I'm going to just use dates month to date. And that is going to filter our months to date and I'm just going to bring in the date column from my date table. Let's change this to MTD. So now that I have that measure, let's see what it does in our table. Now you can see that our data starts in 2015, but our calendar starts at 2016. So we can quickly fix that just by going over and changing this to 15. Well, we can actually give the exact date, but that's okay. So now we can see that fixes our issue. So I'm going to go down and show you what is occurring. So we can see our calendar starts at 2000, our data starts at 2015 and our calendar starts at 2015. Our function says we want to see the total sessions from month to date. And if we go down, we can see there's no change in the numbers. So what is going on? Why? Because this is using the date from the fact table instead of using the date from the date table. So I'm just going to sub that out and then stop it from creating a hierarchy and now let's see what's going on the numbers are different 
and I also want to change my date format to just the date so I can go over to for click on your table go over to format and then let's just use this format and you can see that update but let's see what's going on here we're calculating months to date for our calculation so it's adding up until we get to a new month we're starting in de December and then we get to January 1st which is here and it restarts so let's copy this visual by control C and then turn this into an area chart just so we can see what's going on here and I'm going to also filter this because this is giving us month to date so I'm gonna go down to my date column and just filter the year by bringing in year from our date table clicking the filter I'm gonna use a drop down and I'm gonna just say give me 2020 so we can see what this looks like now we can see it's giving us the month the date and starting over giving us the month the date starting over giving us the month the date and we can see now we have this this plateau because we know that it's giving us month the date which is July which is the where we are and we don't have any more data because this is current to today and as you see this projects forward from the current day so even though our data ends here it keeps summing up until the end of our calendar table so how would we do month to date simply the same way we let's go and copy our formula and we just create a new measure we sub that in instead of dates to month we are going to do quarter dates and then we're going to do quarter and we're going to call this QTD and what if we drop that in to our visualization you can see now that it's summing for the quarter which is from January to March it starts over and such and if we bring that into our calendar let's see what's going on so we can see it sums the same way it's going to month to date and if we go down to the beginning of February we can see it restarts for month to date but not for quarter to date because it's not going to restart until we get to the end of March let me pull this out a little bit so you can see it finally restarts on April first now if we want to do year to date we just do the same action all we're going to do go over and copy our calculation hit new change this to dates year to date Let's change this to YTD. Bring this into our visualization. And you can see it covers the whole year. Don't forget that we're filtered on 2020. So if we say, okay, I just want 2019 and 2020, we can see what that visualization does. It sums up all the way until the end of the year and restarts. Sums up. All the way to the end of the year and restarts and if we bring this into our table we are going to get the same data 
you can see that debt sums we can start with 2019 it sums sums and then we, we get to the end of 2019 let's pull this out a little bit it restarts that's just a quick way to do time intelligence that allows you to calculate the sum or the count or anything you want using the month to date, quarter to date, and year to date functions in Power BI. I hope that helps. Thank you.